This is Brooklyn, St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics Guide, preventing you from becoming a biscuit-headed grower. Now, you can see right now my voice has recovered um, from the last time that you guys heard me a few days ago, which I was sick, the virus, and the bacteria were trying to chomp down on the aquaponics guide. But I've been consuming my, my vegetables um, in, a, in large quantities previously, so my body's able to fight off these uh, the sickness and stuff at a, a pretty rapid pace. So I'm able to recover pretty fast, um, which I suggest a lot of you guys doing because a lot of people doing aquaponics, they're growing vegetables and stuff in these small systems and only got two, three vegetables in there. You know, you're not eating anything. You, we grow vegetables in aquaponics to actually eat them. You're either eating them or you're selling them. So that's one thing that you need to be doing, making sure we're not just do, uh, growing aquaponically just, you know, for a beauty pageant. So with that being said, I'm recovered. I'm feeling good. Um, and back in action. Um, now, today what we have is a special guest, one of the Aquaponic God students. My main man, Andrew, sent me a video about two days ago um, with an update on his system. So this is not really much a review. It's pretty much as an update on the progress that he's doing on a little system he's putting together um, that he's testing out before he begins to uh, uh, upgrade into the commercial setting and begin to expand and scale up the system. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to check out Andrew's uh, uh, system and uh, I'll provide any type of little feedback or any I'll chime in at any points that I d uh, deem necessary but uh, with that being said anybody else all you guys that want your uh, system reviewed make sure you send your video I said video not a drawing not a, 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 um, a text message or any type of email I need a video so everyone else can see it and everyone else can benefit from it that's the point of it. So all everyone, I'm not answering the same questions over and over and over. Everyone else can learn from it and say, oh, okay, I can see and uh, I can uh, kind of fix my um, uh, system in the way I plan on doing it. So that's what we're looking for. Brooklyn at the school of aquaponics.com. That's where you can send it. Um, and I still have you guys this video. I think a lot of videos that have been sent in. You guys are still in the queue. I have not forgot about you. I've not forgot about you. Andrew is in the aquaponic guide course. So when he has submitted his video, of course, he jumps over everybody. Any, all of my students in the aquaponic guide course, they're jumping over everybody. So I put, um, that's why I'm doing his video now. But all you guys, I still have your video, and we're going to go through and review it. So it takes a little bit of time um, because there's a lot of you guys who submitted videos. But keep submitting them so we can share it with everyone else. So with that being said, let's get into today's video from my man, Andrew. Hey, Brooklyn. It's Andrew. Um, just more aquaponic confessions from a recovering politician, man. And uh, I figured... Uh, after seeing that comment on YouTube, uh, I would reach out to you and, and give you kind of like a behind the scenes look at my new system, which I've affectionately called Biscuit. Um, full disclosure on this, uh, I used a lot of uh, parts that I had left over from my last foray into uh, aquaponics. Uh, I definitely loved it, enjoyed it, and knew that it's what I wanted to do. It just, the, the set of circumstances and the timing wasn't right. Uh, so I have this opportunity now and I'm taking advantage of it. I've read the Aquaponics Scott manual now four times. I'm enjoying the class. Andrew, I got to give you a disclaimer. You got to be careful reading it four times. I told you guys when you get your hands on it, you start shaking, man. Your stuff starts shaking, man. I should write uh, a disclaimer in there that you can only read this thing at least uh, at the max once per month because you're liable to start getting Parkinson's disease if you continue reading it four times. Woo, you ain't playing no games, man. And uh, so here's what we got going on inside uh, Biscuit right here. Biscuit uh, is uh, my attempt at uh, building a, just a kind of like a, a more of a personal aquaponics system right now, but with every intention of commercializing and going commercial in the future. So there's my uh, pump down there. It's a little bit undersized, it shoots water up. And uh, I've got a split flow. The legendary split flow. See, Andrew ain't scared. He learned it in aquaponic guy course. He's not scared. Let's go, Andrew. Some of it, or half of it goes to uh, the grow section and the other half goes up to the, the fish tank. As you can see, uh, I've got a valve there because I'm not a biscuit head and I can shut off water to the grow section. And I've also got a uh, valve there. So uh, it will shut off the tank if I need to go do some maintenance on the tank. Um, I've got 12 blue tilapia uh, just happily swimming around in there. Um, and I've got the solid lift overflow just like you did. Um, it was pretty cool, dude, because you told me how to drill a tank. 
And I drilled that sucker, and it turned out great. It turned out fabulous. Uh, thankful for that. Um, definitely understanding the importance of well oxygenated water. So I had this leftover air pump. It's industrial strength, and I uh, have a sponge filter, an air stone, uh, breaking up the surface there, making sure that uh, you've got enough oxygen going to the water. Uh, interesting story about my solid dope flow. I didn't have it capped off at first, and I called my blue tilapia the 12 apostles, and one of them decided to take the magical mystery ride down uh, into my into my trickle homemade trickle filter, and I thought he was dead. Turned out he was alive, so I'm back to 12, so I'm happy for that. Um, and and uh, I built the trickle filter myself, DIY. Um, when I did the measurements and calculations, it's actually got more than enough surface area for this system with my feeding rates and everything. But you hear that? Calculations, feeding rates. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we need to be concerned about when we're developing for commercial and just doing aquaponics in general. The building is one thing. Okay, that's fun. It's cute. But we need to be concerned about, you know, doing correct calculations, feeding rates, and having a predictable system, which is what exactly Andrew is showing us right now. He's putting it together. This is what I'm talking about, man. Let's go. I will, if I decide to go bigger, have to build a bigger one, which won't be a problem for me. My, my past, I've, I've raised uh, freshwater, saltwater, bread tilapia, bread clownfish. So... The, uh, the fish side of it is really easy for me. It's, it's the growing of the vegetables and the farming side that really excites me and uh, where I need to go. So I'm indoors, I'm, I'm in Northern Illinois, so I need to provide my own lighting. So I went out and I was like, I'm gonna just go buy one of these T5s. And uh, I also bought a rail that the T5 will slide back and forth on to uh, cover all of my uh, NFT system. This is a really good idea. This is how you can serve space and, and, and cut down your cost. Instead of having a bunch of lights going across, you have it on the rail, which slides it across and it, um, it uh, or distributes the, the, um, the light spectrum evenly across each of the plants. And it just keeps going back and forth. That's a good idea right there for small areas, um, even for larger areas as well. I've used this before um, growing indoors and it works very well when you set it up the correct way. Perfect. And uh, the cool thing about that is, is I was always trying to find ways to uh, save money. And, and one of the issues I had was I had these cords just kept on getting away when it was sliding, and uh, it just didn't work. So what I did was I just took an old shower curtain and I hung it on the ceiling and I put the cables over there, and then I just hung, put it into my uh, my uh, power outlet right there. And when uh, when I need to, when I'm ready to. Uh, it keeps the cords out of the way, really cheap and or inexpensive way to do do things, and uh, I like that. Um, it's a small space, only nine feet by nine feet, but uh, I'm making the most out of it. So when I come off of the uh, slip flow here, and I go through the tank system, I just have this half inch pipe that goes along here. It probably looks very similar to uh, if people got to see your NFT build, system build that you did. Very similar to that. I just Beefed it up and went from from three channels to seven. And uh, um, one of the tips I would say to anybody who's thinking about doing this: make sure you use your silicone liberally, um, so you don't get any leaks. Um, that was something that I, I, I did when I first turned it on. I had three leaks, and I just realized I didn't do a good job putting the silicone. Um, but so, anyways, the, the water comes in here. We've got really good flow going through here right now. It just comes down the NFT channel and comes into this uh, inch, in the, inch uh, PVC right here, drops down here, flows back down, and right it back into my sump tank. Um, it's kind of goofy in that, uh, you know, you have to step over this, but um, it, it was one of those things where I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to do a bunch of turns and whatnot, and uh, since this is more of just my, my test run biscuit, um, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what I'm doing. I, I've just started now uh, germinating and uh, growing some stuff. That's the first lettuce. He kind of fell off to the side. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just throw them in there. But uh, that's what I've got going on there. I'm pretty excited. I've got some uh, indigo tomatoes. I've got some cabbage, some cauliflower, uh, and, and a lot of lettuce. So you're growing the tomatoes, cabbage, and cauliflower. Now, one thing is I want to uh, uh, just give you a heads up that you may have a problem growing all three of these 
um, in the NFT system. The tomatoes, for sure, you're going to have an issue because the root mass is going to develop pretty large and it's going to clog up these NFT systems pretty rapidly. So you may want to reconsider that. The cabbage, uh, I haven't grown the, uh, a cabbage in here before, but I'm quite sure that, it, that the root mass is going to develop a little bit too large for the four inch pipes. But you, you can test it out to see. I've never grown it. I usually grow these in like a raft system or a media bed. Um, so I've never done it. Matter of fact, I've actually grown these cabbage in the vertical wall that I had and they actually did grow. They actually did grow, but I had that set up a slightly different um, to ac accommodate that root mass. So, I mean, it's worth giving it a try and let me know exactly how it works out and see if we can um, grow that in here because I've never grown them in the NFT system. And uh, we're, we're gonna grow it and have fun. And while I'm doing this, of course, I'm in the Aquaponics God course and I'm enjoying that immensely. Woo, nice little plug, Andrew, man. He's in the Aquaponics God course in there learning, becoming one of the aquaponic guys after we finish. Come on, man. And uh, that's what's going on, Brooklyn. Um, it's a lot of fun, dude. Uh, I'm having a good time. And uh, I just wanted to give you an update. I want to say also, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. We, we all have to have people in our life who give us inspiration. And uh, I know you're giving a lot of inspiration to people, but I, I, I'd be remiss, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the sweet bee saying, Andy, let me just go do it. And uh, she did, she's pretty awesome. So looking forward to sharing some more videos with you in the future when we really get this thing rocking and rolling. I've got some big ideas and uh, not afraid to go do some wild and crazy things. Brooklyn, take care, my man, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. My man, Andrew, thanks a lot for submitting that video. And I love the confidence with the pink shirt, man. That, yeah, it takes a confident man to wear pink and rock it like it's nothing in front of everybody. Confident, I love confident people, and that's exactly what um, uh, I like to rock with. So thank you, Andrew, for submitting this video. I look forward to seeing uh, finishing the Aquaponic God course with you, um, and I look. Uh, hopefully, this video has helped out a lot of other people who uh, who can look and get some inspiration from Andrew. Um, and then you know, like I said, I just look forward to finishing the course and seeing the final product and the system, uh, the way you put this system together. So with that being said, this is Brooklyn Saint Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo!